One other area that you might want to focus on in your Criterion D reflection is the relationship between electricity and magnetism in devices. That was a very interesting discovery made in the 1800s that when current flows through a wire, it generates a magnetic field. So very common thing, I'm sure you've explored it in a science class where you create a circuit with a wire. When you run electricity through the wire and you wrap the wire around a nail, it can pick up uh, paper clips. Okay, so that's your common electromagnet. And what they realized at the beginning is when wire is carrying current, and if you take a compass and you put it next to it, the compass deflects, it changes. Okay, so usually that's pointing at the north pole of the earth, but when you bring the compass closer to the wire, it starts to turn. So that's proof that current in a wire generates a magnetic field. So what can we do with that? Well, in general, we can create very strong magnets, an, an, an electromagnet, not an electromagnetic. And the greater the current and the greater the number of coils of that wire, the stronger the magnetic field. So we can pick up really heavy things like cars. You'll see these in dumps or metal scrapyards. And then we can even design something cool called an electric motor, where we have a magnet and current periodically running through a wire that generates a force to turn things. So this is the, this is the design of a simple electric motor. And then something super interesting is uh, what you'd learn in grade 12 in physics is the idea of electromagnetic induction. Now this, if you're going to talk about this, this is pretty advanced stuff. Um, but we can generate heat in a metal without actually conducting heat to it, just by putting a metal in an oscillating magnetic field generated by current flowing through a wire. And that's called an induction heater. So some of you guys might have stoves that uses induction, where if you put your hand on it, it's not hot, but as soon as you put the metal pot on top of the burner, it starts to get hot because it uses magnetism, electromagnetism to generate heat. And you can get to very hot temperatures. So these are just three devices that you might want to talk about in your Criterion D or focus on if you want to focus on explaining how these electronic inventions have impacted uh, our society. Okay, so that's the relationship between electricity and magnetism, and that's where we're going to cut this unit completely.